Well, hello to all of my wonderful YouTube fans. How are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. If you guys know what I'm doing today, we're going to be checking voltages on a couple different style zero acid batteries, like something like this one. This one is 12 volt 70 amp hours and 20 hours of use. But basically, this battery is completely 100% dead. Somewhat. I tried putting it on a charger before, and it's no go. This is a 10 year old battery from 2007. This is a very old style battery. And you're gonna say, Chris, how are you gonna check voltage on these types of batteries? Well, you can use a multimeter, something like this, okay, but make sure it has the DC voltage and batteries as well. But basically all you do is you hook up your leads to it and basically you test it. And basically I'll show you how to use it. It's pretty simple. And you just put it as DC voltage on your meter. But it's just no point of fixing a dead battery like that one. If it's no recovering it, it's just shot. They're not that expensive. You can get them for about $20 a piece. But if you go with a much bigger capacity battery, it will be a little bit more. And let me explain what I mean. Hey Chris, why the heck do you have two different types of sealed elastic batteries? Well. A, I'm going to show you what the difference is of these batteries themselves. Basically, this is a much smaller battery. 12 volts, 70 amp hours, 20 hours of use. This battery is basically dead. You can see it's a 10 year old battery. Because there was the date right here from 2007. Okay. And also I have a multimeter. We're going to be checking the voltage as well on these. Now this heavy ass battery is 12 volts, 26 milliamps, 20 hours as well. This thing is huge and it's a lot heavier than my small one. And you're going to need a special charger for these types of batteries. Okay? To charge these style batteries. Alright, let's get into the multimeter. Here you see. Switch it to DC. It does have a light on it. Very nice. Switch it to 20 volts. But it does have own configuration for batteries right here but you want to switch it to uh, that one I'm gonna pull these covers off what covers here well you can can see what the voltage is on this one I mean eh, not too bad but I don't know tips, it's just like very flaky with this battery. Well, this one's gonna be a little bit more tricky. -o. Let's get the test lead heel on the other side of this battery without short soaking anything. And this is what a brand new battery is supposed to look like. Pretty well good voltage. Oh, of course I'm not holding it steady. But yeah, that's a... That's a pretty well good voltage right there. The battery. But it's kind of awesome to show you the difference of these batteries. Of course, you can recover that battery. Well, yeah, I could, but I tried, 
But no, so sus. It really didn't work for me. I'm not worried about it. It's just an old battery. And I'm basically just going to recycle it like any normal rechargeable style battery I normally do buy. But let's go ahead and show you what a multi needle can do and why I choose this tool. The right tool is a good job for the job you're looking for. To do, should I say. Alright. Get curious on what this bad boy is. Alright, it is a huge battery, but it's still a nice battery. Okay. Basically, my small one is pretty small. The voltage meter on this is awesome. Set it to 20 volts. Okay. Bicycle electric right there is you put the black with the black lead, put the red with the red lead. And basically you get some very awesome voltage. Alright. Pretty nice. Now on this smaller battery, stick the lead there, touch the ground to ground, you got positives and negatives. The voltage is pretty bad on this one. Let's see, there's my camera focusing for you, for you can see the whole entire meter. Pretty awesome. Exact same thing on your big one. Okay, you got red and negatives. Basically, you just take the probes, and it works. Perfectly fine. You all kind of complain and the way I do things with the batteries. But let me kind of explain. The battery charger is the right charger for the sealed level acid batteries. Now, if the battery is dead, it might work to recover it. But it's just no point of fixing dead batteries. Now, let me explain price rise. The small one is uh, about $20 for the small version, but if you go with a much bigger one, it's going to cost you almost about $80 for a battery itself. It all depends on the application you are using the battery for. But let me explain how my charger works. It's very simple and easy. All you have to do is you plug it in the wall and you put the alligator clips on or you can use the own types of wing terminal uh, you can bolt those directly to your battery and that works too. Let's show you wing. Alright, uh, you're kind of pining over here. Kind of see the layout on my desk. Okay. Here is the charger. I use to charge my 12 volt batteries and it can also charge 6 volt batteries as well and be well this is polarized you can't only plug this one way you cannot plug it both ways okay there's your hot there's your neutral it's a very simple device to use and if you want to charge 12 or 6 you hit this little mode button right here, and it changes the batteries for you. Basically, you put red with red, black with black. The exact same thing with these small batteries. Red with red, black with black. Nicely. But that's basically how I charge and check voltages with the multimeter. Very simple and very easy unit to use. Not a bad tool to have. Make sure you get one of those to check the voltages on this and this type of batteries. Now, when this battery is fully charged, you basically take off your ground, then you pause this, and you let your battery sit for a little bit. Alright, that's basically how I charge my batteries. Do not use a automotive. Call battery 
told you please it will not work if you guys and girls are burning on this channel please hit that subscribe button leave a awesome comment down below please like please share peace out bye we'll hopefully see you and the next vlog thank you for watching